Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for a slightly different tag video today. Today I'm doing the makeup book tag and basically I just filmed it and this is the look that I created and let's just get right into it. All right, so this is the starting look of me without makeup. Uh, clearly I have some dark circles to take care of. So the first question on the list is primer. So pick a book that left a lasting impression. So for this one, the primer that I am using is a little sample that I got from Sephora. It is the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. Um, I like it, but I use primer so rarely that I can't decide if I'm gonna get the full version. And the book that I have picked for this category is Deerskin by Robin McKinley. I will be putting pictures of everything because obviously I'm a little bit busy right now. <laughs> This stuff smells like coconuts because it's got coconut water in it and I can't decide if that's a good thing or not. Anyway, Deerskin is a fairy tale retelling of a really messed up fairy tale called Donkey Skin and it is at its heart a story of trauma and recovery and it is just an absolutely stunning book. Like the first time I read it, I raced through it. I picked it up and could not put it down until I was done and then like a year later I did the same thing. I picked it up and immediately just had to finish it. So it is a tough book to get through because some really bad stuff happens to the main character, but it is absolutely beautiful. So the next category is foundation, and the product that I'm using is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. This is actually one that I picked up in London. Uh, a lot of, I picked up a lot of stuff in London. Uh, and the book that I am picking for this one is Have Mercy by Jada Jones and Daniel Bennett? So the Have Mercy series is one that I have talked about before and I absolutely love it. It is a fantasy series about robotic, sassy, alchemical dragons and their writers and the like political struggle between these two countries. I love the whole series but probably the first book is still my favorite because the first book has more of the sassy alchemical robotic dragons. So the next category is concealer and the question is pick a character that you wish that you could get rid of. So for this one it's not exactly a character I wish I could get rid of because if you got rid of her then there would be no story but I really wish that Lavana of the Lunar Chronicles had been written a bit differently because I just found her to be the weakest part of that series. Like she was really boring and predictable and not even really that threatening and so I just yeah yeah, wish that she had been more convincing as a villain. And the products that I am using for this, it's a two-step process. Uh, the first is a the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Triple Remedy thing, and then after that it is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer. I don't know, I also got this one in London. category is pick your favorite last book in a series. Um, so this is just like a Maybelline powder that I picked up at the drugstore that I've had for years and have barely touched. But the book that I've picked for this category is um, Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan because man do I love me some teen demigods but also this book is the one that had the Nico and Reina road trip and that's just possibly one of the best things I've ever read. done. Uh, the next category is eyebrows and the question for this one is pick a book everyone should read. I mean, I'm not your mom guys, you can read whatever you want, but I decided to pick for this one uh, The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. I feel like a lot of people are gonna go with like serious non-fiction books for this one, but I just decided to go with the one series that I can't stop recommending to basically everyone I meet. 
Oh, and the product that I'm using for this, there's gonna be two. Um, the first one is the Anastasia Brow Definer, which is the pencil, and then for the gel, I'm using the um, Glossier Boy Brow, I guess is what it's called. This is an online only thing. recommending the Darkest Mind series to everyone is because I just consider it to be like the ultimate in the YA futuristic dystopia genre. Like it is just basically the best one. It's like the one that has like a plot that actually makes sense, that holds together for the whole series, that does not have a love triangle, oh my god. And it's just, oh it's just so good and all of the character interactions are wonderful. There's a really heavy emphasis on friendships and on family of choice. I just really love it. Okay, so the next category is eyeshadow, and the question is pick a book that has your favorite colors on the cover. Uh, my favorite colors are red and purple, although if you actually took a look in my wardrobe, you would realize that also black and white play a pretty big role. So what I have decided to go with is Tell the Wind and Fire by Sarah Reese Brennan, because first of all, it's just a really pretty cover, but also it's black, white, and red. And then the products that I'm using for this, uh, this is actually not the order that I would normally do my makeup in. Um, normally I would do my eyeshadow first because then it's really easy to clean up fallout when you don't have foundation on already. But so instead, um, I have the NARS uh, primer potion, whatever thing. And then I'm using a um, stick eyeshadow, which is the Burberry uh, cream eyeshadow in pale copper. And then I'm gonna be using a little bit of shadow with the Tartlet in Bloom Tarte Palette. I'm most likely just gonna be using like this corner kind of reddish brown one for the crease. So Tell the Wind and Fire I did a whole review on and so I will just link that down below so you can figure out why I love this story but it is a like modern day urban fantasy retelling of Tale of Two Cities and it is absolutely fantastic. It's actually the reason that I am now listening to the audiobook of Tale of Two Cities. I'm using is the Soap and Glory Super Cat eyeliner. It's one of those like felt tipped ones. This was another one that I got in London. So the book that I have decided to go for on this one is Pick a Dark and Mysterious Book and I'm going with The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey. This is one that I put on a rec list for I think like fall reads or something like that last year and I don't really read a lot of horror but this one was just done in a way that was so compelling and freaked me out by the end of it but like honestly it was such a good book. It was a zombie book kind of and the way that the zombieism worked was really like chilling and like just realistic enough to be creepy and the characters were really well done and it just drew me in and then just really freaked me out. And also it's getting a movie apparently. Um, there's a trailer for it out at any rate and hopefully that'll happen at some point. I think it'll make a really interesting movie. one is mascara and the question is pick a long book. So for this one I am going with uh, Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This isn't even like the longest book that I've read this year uh, but I just finished it and so I haven't had a chance to talk about it yet and it was incredible. I will talk about it more in my like monthly wrap up but oh my god it was so good. Oh and the product that I'm using is the CoverGirl the Super Sizer one. And I 
loved Illuminae because it's told all in document format. So it's all done in like IM conversations and transcripts of audio files. And there's some like narrative where it's someone like transcribing like security camera footage. It is creepy as hell, by the way. And it is basically about this trio of ships that are on the run from this battle destroyer, from this corporation that attacked this settlement. And it's just, oh, it's so good. It's pretty long, it's like almost 600 pages, but because it's all in document format, it goes really fast because there's actually not like a ton of words per page. So the next category is uh, blush, and I'm actually gonna be using both blush and bronzer, but the question is, pick a book that had some cringeworthy romance. So the products that I'm using, um, the blush is coming from this uh, Becca. So this is like a highlighter and blush split. It's the Champagne Pop, which I'll be using later for highlighter. And this one I think is called Flower Child or something. Anyway, the uh, book that I have picked for this one is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Uh, I've read worse romances, but it's been a while since I've read something that was like that predictable and also slightly creepy. And basically just like as soon as the character showed up that I knew was gonna be his love interest, I was just like, oh, please don't do what I think you're about to do. And then they totally did. So I just, I was not impressed with that part of the story. <laughs> oh, and the uh, bronzer that I'm using today is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate something or other bronzer. Um, I have a few different bronzers that are pretty much all the same color, and I use this one because it smells like chocolate. Okay, so the next category is highlighter, and it is pick a book that brightened your day, which I just think is adorable. Um, like I said earlier, I'm using the Champagne Pop highlighter that comes in this split thing. And the book that I've picked for this one is Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. Um, I just, this book is just adorable. I think that it is one of the cutest romances that I have read in quite some time. It just is about two girls falling in love and one of them happens to be like a set designer in Hollywood and it's about her like being really good at her job. I mentioned in my previous review of You Know Me Well that Nina LaCour just tends to have this slight sense of the magical in her works and this one is a great example of that. It just feels so sweet and beautiful and it's just about two girls falling in love and that's just kind of it. There's not a lot of drama about it. It was just really good. Okay, so the final category is lipstick. We're almost done. And the question is your favorite book kiss. Now the product that I am going for this one, I love lipstick. I have a million lipsticks and like honestly, it's hard for me to pick, but the product that I've picked for today, I haven't done red in a while. So I'm doing the NARS uh, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil apparently. And the color is Cruella. It's just a really like solid true red on me and I love it. And the uh, book that I'm going with, uh, well, there's sort of two. The one that I've read most recently is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. It is, oh, it's just so good. But if you were gonna ask like me at like 14, I would have absolutely hands down told you In the Realm of the Gods by Tamora Pierce, because that just made my 14 year old heart so happy. It was like the culmination of everything I'd wanted when I was reading that series. So that is actually everything. This is the full look. I will do a quick close up for you so that you can get, you know, a good idea of what just went into this whole look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. It was fun to film and hopefully fun to watch. And if you've read any of the books that I talked about in the tag, feel free to talk about them in the comments below. And I will see you guys next time with another video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Talk about yet because I just finished it. Wow, okay. <laughs> I mean, you look good.